Hey y'all, it's it's Wednesday before a big break. Christmas is coming, yay. And I, I maybe I'm a little bit too personal in this video, but I have been dealing a lot with um, like uh, dysphoria, this feeling of like uh, stuckness. Uh, and I know it's something deep in my psyche and I know it it's there and I know that uh, it's, it's a part of me, but I guess I'm just giving this video out to you all. Uh, you know, pain and suffering is something that we humans experience, and I think we have this tendency to experience it or to perceive it or to have this notion that it's a, it's a private experience. Like if I say to you, um, I'm suffering or I'm sad or I'm feeling under the weather, right? Uh, there's there's something inadequate in the language, right? You, you really can't adequately articulate human suffering. It's really difficult to do. It's like when doctors will ask you, well, how is your pain from a scale from 1 to 10? And why do they do that? Because they're looking for some way to quantify your your subjective experience of, of, of suffering. Anyway, what my point is, is that uh, I think when you are an educator, such as myself, yes, I think suffering is something that is important to really like understand and think about, right? Because I don't think of myself as just like a purveyor of knowledge. Maybe it's just because I teach in the humanities. And one of the most difficult things is to find an adequate artistic representation of suffering and to share that in a way that's truly cathartic. You know what the Greeks meant by catharsis, like this purgation of the emotions. And, um, and maybe this is just a long winded way of me of saying, I'm looking for some purgation of my emotions, honey. So yes, we're almost there. Yes. Bye.